By law, cars sold in the U.S. market must now have the ability to detect whether a child, a teenager, a baby seat, or similar has been placed on the passenger seat next to the driver. This is achieved today through weight detection using a variety of different technologies. Due to the seat belt attachment, this weight measurement can cause a force shunt with the effect that the weight detection is no longer reliable. In cases such as this, the force shunt must be measured by an additional seat belt force sensor. In our example, this issue is solved by means of a linear hall sensor. The belt lug is guided through an opening in the belt attachment in this sensor system. The belt attachment moves a spring-loaded carriage. This spring-loaded carriage holds two magnetic bars, with the PCB-mounted hall sensor being placed perpendicularly in the air gap between both magnets. In the event of an accident, the person is pressed into the belt. This causes the spring-loaded carriage to be moved by the belt, and the sensor output signal is influenced by the change in the magnet position. This sensor signal is transmitted to the airbag control unit. Analyzing the change in the magnetic field, the control unit can judge the force of the mass being accelerated in the belt and draw conclusions on the person or object placed on the seat.